Welcome to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. We try to keep these as quick as we can. Today we're talking about keyframe interpolation, uh, most notably how to make a smooth camera move rather than having the um, curve start and stop. We're going to have just a linear move, which is important if you're if you're trying to make a consistent motion. So we'll show you what we mean. Uh, we're going to have an arc spline that we're going to just lay on the XZ. And we're going to bring in a camera, look through that, and we are going to align it to our spline by adding an align to spline tag and then just dragging the arc right there. And now you can't tell, but we are looking through the camera. And we're going to add a cube, and we're going to add one more tag, and we're going to target the cube. Okay, you see we're a little bit too close, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the arc and I'm just going to scale it up so that the cube is fully in the visual field. So if you go to this align to spline, you now have a position percent that you can drag and it will take you from 0 to 100 percent from basically from one end of the arc to the other. And if we want, we can actually take the arc and we can extend the radius. That'll, that'll make it larger and then we can also do the end angle. And so you'll see in the background, I'm taking this arc and I'm making it larger around, I'm basically wrapping it around the cube. So if I go back to my percent, my position, now I'll go a lot farther. All right, so what we're gonna do down here is we're gonna keyframe, very first frame, zero, and we're just gonna go to the 90th frame and we're gonna go to 100 and keyframe that. So now we've got a, this little animation. When we hit play, you're gonna notice it's gonna go and it's gonna kinda slow down, stop and start, from the first and the last frame. Now, that's good if you, that's the way your video starts, your motion starts there, but if you wanna keep it consistent, let's say we wanted to just wrap around the cube in a consistent path, what we need to do is we're gonna click on our keyframe and in interpolation, we're gonna to need to change that to linear. And we're gonna to need to do that for both keyframes. And now when we back it up to the beginning and hit play, you see that we just have constant motion and it will consistently move one path. So one thing that's valuable, you know, let's let's get rid of this object for a second. Let's say now we've got, um, we want to have a car driving on an object. So let's bring the arc in. A car obviously doesn't stop and start the way that we just saw with the, uh, with the default interpolation. It's going to be on a linear path if it's driving down the street. So if we go into our, let's just grab an object. Uh, let's see, let's grab a vehicle and let's grab this low poly car. And let's drag it in, okay? So obviously we can see that that's, our arc is gonna need a little bit of adjusting. And let's just change the angle here and zoom out a little bit. We're gonna make this arc a lot bigger. And we're gonna have to zoom out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this car and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna align it to a spline. And that spline is going to be our arc, okay? And same thing, now we got a percentage. Obviously this is not working very well for us. We've gotta do tangential. And you'll see now that the nose of the car will actually follow the spline, but we're backwards, so let's so what I needed to do was go in and, and click on the vehicle part of it, of the car, because it's a grouped object, and just simply rotate that. So now it is directly on that spline, and when I go back to my position percent, you'll see that it's driving on that path. But what you'll notice is if we keyframe the beginning and, again, the end, very similar, if we hit play, it's going to start and stop. And maybe that's what you want, but like, let's say we did an animation, something kind of like this, where we've got a city scene, and we're going to see that um, as we come down into the city, you're going to see cars are driving, and it's, you know, we want them going through intersections at a, at a relatively steady rate of speed, as you can see from some of those cars that came through the intersection. Um, and obviously this is cartoony, so some of the turns are a little tuned. 
then um, you know we're going to have buildings obstructing some of those objects. Then we're going to need to do the same thing. Come in here, grab our keyframe, make it linear. And now we start, and we've got a constant driving speed. So anyway, that's the quick tip I've got for you today. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Thanks.